President Bola Tinumbu's recent nomination of Yemi Kaduso, a financial and development expert, as the new governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria, CBN, has raised eyebrows among some Nigerians. This is because Kaduso, like many of Tinumbu's other key economic appointees, is a Yoruba man. This has led to accusations of nepotism, with some critics alleging that Tinubu is putting the interests of his own ethnic group ahead of the interests of the country as a whole. In a controversial tweet, African Development Congress ADC, House of Representatives candidates Obin Naonsu went so far as to say that Tinubu has put the entire economic structure of Nigeria in the hands of Yorubas. Mosu's tweet is sure to spark a debate about the role of ethnicity in Nigeria politics. While it is true that Tinubu has appointed many Yorubas to key economic positions, it is important to know that he has also appointed people from other ethnic groups such as Igbos and Hausas. Yes. Obin Naonsu. Is it not the same Obin Naonsu who has a, who has a, be, a chanting and praising Tinubu? And you know, going against a thing, uh, uh, or causing, I don't know whether abusing a uh, uh, pizza will be. I think it's this the same Obin. I don't know because it's this one guy like that who has been, you know, supporting Tinumbu all this while and making mess of a uh, Obi. So, why the sudden change? He said President Tinubu has put the entire economic structure of Nigeria in the hands of Yorubas and Nigerians are not complaining. Since this is because Muhammad Buhari left behind a template, then then why should somebody be telling us that uh, Tinubu is a good person if they know that uh, what Buhari did was wrong? And is of course, he even said it's going to continue from there. So I don't even know what is really going on. CBN Governors Yoruba, Minister of Finance Yoruba, FIRS Yoruba, Minister of Digital Economy Yoruba, Minister of Marine and Blue Economy Yoruba. I just hope they succeed and make life better for the common man. The word nepotism does not hurt Nigerians anymore. Mm. What is good for the goose is good for the ganders. It is also worth noting that Kadoso is a highly qualified candidate for the CBN job. He has over 30 years of experience in the private public and not for profit sectors and he is widely respected in the financial community community yes now we do respect ourselves but at the end of the day what comes out of it that is the most important thing just like he said the nigerians are not uh, bothered about a uh, ethnicity or nepotism again the most important thing let them be the right thing but unfortunately we have seen it the nepotism has not really provided or produced any good governance the case of a uh, that means uh, since uh, Tinubu is following the footsteps of a uh, Buhari, which ordinarily is not supposed to be, but at the end of the day, Buhari did what he had to do. At the end of the day, nothing came out. It is disaster upon disaster, and he has started. We have seen the disaster. At least Buhari is even better because in the first three months of Buhari or six months, it was not a uh, as as a uh, as as dangerous as what we are seeing in the government of a uh, Tinumbu. So if all the nepotism that Buhari displayed and yet Nigeria did not get anything. So those who are saying that uh, after uh, Buhari uh, started it, they are trying to justify what Tinumbu is doing. Then everything is going to end the way Buhari's government ended. Is that what we are going to be facing in the next how many years again? <laughs> it's, so, it's so unfortunate. There's no big deal. Anybody who is ready to do the right thing, fine. But unfortunately, they are going to be, they are going to be making things difficult for Nigerians because they are not going to bring about good governance. Because majority of the people who have been appointed, they have been tested in one way or the other, and they failed woefully. Mm. Ultimately, it is up to the Nigerian people to decide whether or not. They believe that Tinumbu's economic agenda is fair and inclusive. However, it is important to have a nice discussion about this issue and to avoid making sweeping generalizations about entire ethnic groups. President Tinumbu's economic agenda is a complex issue with no easy answer. It is important to have a nice 
discussion about this issue and to avoid making sweeping generalization about entire ethnic groups. Mm. Yes, what are the potential benefits and drawbacks of having a government that is dominated by one ethnic group? How can we ensure that everybody has an equal opportunity to succeed in Nigeria? Regardless of their ethnicity, what role should ethnicity play in Nigeria politics? <laughs> They will see Edwin Lewayne. Mm. Somebody say you have paid the price already. So what is now your own gain as a, as 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 a citizen? You have paid the price. So you have not been paying the price. They will tell you, they will do all manner of rubbish, and they will tell you to to endure, to sacrifice. So you have not made any sacrifice. You people should continue. You people should continue. Ah, to eat Everybody, a little bird way. A little bit way. Now they are defending it. Oh, during Gulag Jonathan's time, eh, no Yoruba person was there. This and this and that. At the end of the day, what happened? So all of you now should just remember that eh, nothing is going to come out of a eh, Tinumbu. In as much it started with a eh, Buhari's eh, agenda. Mm. When it favors them, they will say no. Eh, it is not you know, it is not Buhari. They will be praising him. See the propaganda. Oh my God! I don't even want to go there. This UAE is just a is a disaster. This disaster. This UAE ban lifts or whatever visa lifts is a disaster from these people. So guys, I let's say your opinion and have your take on this.